हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर द सोल्यूशन ऑफ सच प्रॉब्लम्स नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फॉर एट एंड दिस प्रॉब्लम अगेन वी आर गिवन दिस लोडेड ट्रस्ट एंड इट इज सेड दैट डिटरमाइन द फोर्स इन ईच मेंबर ऑफ दिस लोडेड ट्रस्ट एंड इट इज सेड दैट मेक यूज ऑफ द सेमेट्री ऑफ द ट्रस्ट एंड ऑफ द लोडिंग राइट सो एज वी कैन सी दैट वी कंसिडर दिस जी सी मेंबर राइट सो दिस ट्रू होल ट्रस्ट इज सेमेट्रिक अबाउट दिस लाइन राइट and the forces are also symmetric about this line right now as here we have a pin joint so there will be two reactions right so one reaction will be acting vertically upward right so let's say this is a y and there will be one another reaction in this direction and this will be a x right and similarly since here is a roller support so then there will be one reaction only and that will be acting upward right so let's say this is e y and let's say this is our positive x and this is our positive y direction right so now if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 to this whole truss right so as we can see that there is only one force which is acting in the x direction and that is ax right so this means that ax reaction is equal to 0 right so as we so now we know that there is no reaction in the x direction right and now if we apply the summation of the moment at point a equals to 0 and let's assume that the counter clockwise moment is positive right so then as we can see that the perpendicular distance of this ey from that point a is 20 meters right so 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 right so this will be 20 ey and this is producing the counter clockwise moment right so this is plus now as we can see that um, this 30 kN force is producing clockwise moment so we will write minus and its perpendicular distance is 5 right so we will write 5 into 30 similarly this 60 kN force is also producing clockwise moment so we will write minus and its perpendicular distance is 10 so 10 into 60 and similarly this is again producing clockwise moment and its moment arm its perpendicular distance from that point a is 5 plus 5 plus 5 so this is 15 right so we will write minus 15 into 30 and this will be equal to 0 right so when we solve this so ey comes out to be 60 kN right so this means that this reaction at point e is equal to 60 kN and as i have told you people that this whole truss is symmetric about this cg line and similarly these forces are symmetric about this cg line so this means that this ay will also be equal to 6 kN due to this symmetry right or uh, if you people solve this that the summation of forces along y equals to 0 so then you people will get this same result right joint a right so to solve joint a we will draw the free body diagram right so let's say that this is a y force which is acting towards joint a right this is point a and let's say that a h force is acting in this direction let's say this is a h force which is over uh, which is applied uh, towards the positive x axis and this is our a y and let's say that a b force is acting towards this joint a right so let's say this is a b force and this is our joint a this is my ab force now we need to know this theta right so this is that theta which is required so we can use this triangle right so if i apply tan theta so tan theta will be equal to this 4 divided by 5 and this will be equal to tan inverse 4 divided by 5 and this theta comes out to be 38.66 degrees right so we now we know this angle 38.66 degrees now if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 at this joint a so then as we can see that if we resolve this ab force into its components right so it will have one component in this direction and it will have one component in this direction right so if we apply the summation of forces along y so this component is acting in the negative y direction right so i will write minus a b sin of 38.66 and this ay is acting in the positive y direction so i will write plus 
a y is 60 kilo Newton, right? And this is equal to 0. So, a b will be equal to minus 60 divided by minus sine of 38.66. So, a b comes out to be 96.05 kilo Newton. And as we can see that this a b is acting towards the giant. So, this means that this is the compressive force, right? And now, uh, if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 at joint A, so then this component of AB is acting in the negative x direction, right? And this AH is acting in the positive x direction. So, I will write AH minus AB. So, AB is 96.05 cos of 38.66. This is equal to 0. So, AH from this comes out to be 75 kilo Newton, right? So, this is 75 kilo Newton and since this AH force is acting away from the joint, so this means that this is the tension force. So, now we can draw this AH here, right? So, AH is acting away from the joint and this is that AB force which is acting towards the joint, right? So, at this joint B, this will be acting again towards the joint, right? This is AB force and this is AH. So, here it will be acting away from this H joint, right? Now, we will solve joint B. So, now as we can see that at joint B, we have these three forces, right? So, this is BC force and this is BH force, right? And we know the direction of AB force, right? So, let me draw the free body diagram at joint B. So, let's say that the AB, this is our AB force which is acting towards the joint B, right? And here we will have BC force. So, let's say that BC force is acting towards this joint, right? Let's say this is my B point and let's say that BH force is acting away from the joint, right? This is BH force, this is AB whose magnitude is known which is 96.05 kilo Newton and this is BC, right? So, now, uh, as we know that this uh, the here, this AB force is making that theta which is 38.66, right? So, now if I draw a line here, so this angle is 38.66 and now if I draw a horizontal line here, so then this angle is also 38.66, this is this, that theta angle, right? So, now if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 at joint B. So, now if we resolve this AB force into its component, so then it will have one component in this direction and it will have one component in this direction, right? So, now if we apply the summation of forces along y, so then this component, this sine component of this AB is acting in the positive y direction, right? So, I will write AB and AB is 96.05, right? So, this is 96.05 sine of theta. Theta is 38.66. We will write 38.66. And then this BH is acting in the negative y direction. So, I will write minus BH equals to 0. And from this, BH will be equal to 60 kilo Newton. And this BH is acting away from this joint B. So, this means that this is the tension force. And now, if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 at joint B, so as you can see that this component of AB is acting in the positive x direction and this is the cos component, right? So, I will write AB cos of, so 96.05 cos of 38.66 and this BC is acting in the negative x direction. So, I will write minus BC and this is equal to 0 and from this BC comes out to be 75 kilo Newton. And since this BC force is acting towards joint B, so this means that this is the compressive force. So, now the BH force is tension force, so it will be acting away from this uh, joint B. And similarly, BC force is compressive force, so it will be acting towards joint B, right? And similarly, this uh, BH force will be acting away from this joint H, right? And similarly, it will be, this BC force will be acting towards joint C, right? Since this is the compressive force. 
Now from symmetry as we can see that this AB force and this DE force will be equal, right? So AB equals to DE and DE is the AB force is known which is 96.05 kilonewton and this is compressive force and similarly this AH force and this EF force will be equal right so EF force and this AH is 75 kilonewton right and this will also be the tension force right so this means that EF force will also be tension force and it will be acting away from this joint and this DE force will be compressive force so it will be acting towards joint E right and similarly it will be acting towards joint D and it will be acting away from joint F right and similarly from this from these results we can say that by symmetry BH this BH force will be equal to this DF force right so we can say that BH and DF forces are equal and BH force is 60 kilonewton and this DF force um, this is in tension right so this means that this DF force will also be tension force, right? So this will be acting away from this joint D and this will be acting away from this joint F, right? And similarly, uh, BC force, so this BC force will be equal to this CD force, right? So we can say that BC force will be equal to CD force and BC force is 75 kilonewton and is compressive, right? So similarly, CD force is also compressive, right? So it will be acting towards the joints, right? Now we will solve a uh, joint H, right? So let me write joint H, right? So now this is our joint H. So if we draw a free body diagram of joint H, so at joint H, we have this BH force which is away from, which is acting away from this H joint, right? So this is BH force and it is 60 kilonewton, right? And similarly, this AH force is again, it's a tension force and it's acting away from this joint, right? So this is again acting in this direction and this AH force is 75 kilonewton. So we will write 75 kilonewton. And similarly, this GH force. So let's say that this GH force is also tension force and it's, let's say it is acting away from this joint, right? So this is that GH force, which is unknown. And here there is 30 kilonewton force, which is acting downward and here at this joint H we have this uh, CH force right so let's say that that CH force is acting towards this joint right so let's say this is that CH right and this is that joint H so now as we can see that we need to know this theta right so again this is that similar triangle this triangle and this triangle both are similar so this means that this theta and this theta are similar as well right so this is again that same theta which is 38.66 degrees right so now if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to zero right so if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to zero so now as we can see that this gh force is acting in the positive x direction so i will write gh minus the cos component of this ch is acting in the negative x direction right so the co the cos component of this ch right so this is ch cos of theta which is 38.66 and similarly this 75 kilonewton force is acting in the negative x direction so we will write minus 75 and this will be equal to zero right so now in this equation we have two unknowns right so now let me apply the summation of forces along y equals to zero so now again this ch force will have one component in this direction right so this uh, bh force is acting in the positive y direction that is 60 kilonewton so we will write plus 60 minus the ch sign component right so ch sine of 38.66 acting in the negative y direction and this minus 30 kilonewton which is acting in the negative y direction right equals to zero so then when we solve this so e h c h comes out to be 48 kilonewtons and since this ch force is acting towards the giant so this means that this is the compressive force and now if we substitute ch value in this equation this is 48 kilonewton 
so gh comes out to be 112.5 kilonewton and since this gh force is acting away from this joint edge so this means that this is the tension force now from symmetry as we can see that this is the ch force so ch force is compressive force right so from symmetry we can see that this cf force will also be equal to this ch force right so we can say that ch force is equal to cf force right and both are compressive forces right so they will be acting towards the joint and similarly this gh force is tension force right so it will be acting away from this joint and similarly it will be acting away and similarly from symmetry we can say that this gh force will be equal to that gf force right and similarly there will be the tension force right and similarly from this if, if we apply the summation of forces along y at joint g right so this force and this force will be equal since this force and this force are equal right so we are only left with these two forces so at joint g we can say that if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 at joint G. So, this means that Cg force will be equal to 60 kilonewton, right? And Cg force will be acting away from this joint G. So, this means that Cg force will be tension force, right? So, since we know all the forces in all the members of this truss right so this is the solution of this particular problem